Hey everybody, so I've just done three other videos. One of them was about how some people are gonna get a fake apology from a karmic. This is a psychotic karmic. This is not from a true love. This is from a psychotic karmic, someone that abused you or abused your person. Physical abuse, mental abuse, gaslighting. The karmic's gonna apologize because they're trying to spare themselves bad karma, but it's it's not gonna happen. It's 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 just not. It's it's a fake apology, and spirit sees right through them. Their intention is to gaslight you or your person. So please be smart when this apology comes in. There's one video on that. Um, just to reiterate really quickly, and then I'm gonna get into the fourth video. There's another video on so there's two toxic karmics like instant BFFs that have teamed up. And they're plotting something possibly illegal, possibly witchcraft. It's not going to work. Don't worry. But I mean, watch your back. You know, use your intuition. Be smart. Be logical. Be safe. But um, but yeah, two toxic karmics, karmic BFFs because, you know, the karmic's not able to drag other people into her drama anymore. And so she's found someone else to drag into her drama. And this is going to backfire on her pretty bad. This friendship is going to go up in flames. So check back for that video too. There's also one about the karmic being alone right now because everyone is her. It's about her connection to her friends and family. Like everyone's sick of dealing with her bullshit. So there's a lot of important messages in all those videos. I channeled quite a bit. I'm drawn. I didn't draw cards for those because I was just channeling. Um, I'm drawn to draw cards for this one. So the message that I'm that I'm hearing, and a lot of times I know what the message is before I do the videos, just because, like I said, I primarily channel. So I connect to spirit, I connect to, to you guys, to your higher selves, your person's higher selves. You know, I connect to all these energies and tune in. So I channel. It's not just me talking. I'm actually channeling and and downloading these this information from my spirit guides, you know, and from just the situation, the energy itself. You know, I can just kind of tap in and see what's going on. So a lot of these karmics are crying right now. They're exhausted. They're upset. Don't feel bad for them, though. For the karmics in this energy group, the karmics in this energy group are psychos. They are toxic as it comes. And they're not crying because they're heartbroken. They're crying because they're spoiled little brats. And they're frustrated because they were hell-bent on ruining the divine masculine's life or ruining the divine feminine's life. These are This is a psychic vampire that either wanted you or your person to be miserable their whole life. They had an energy source with you or with your person. They wanted to drain your energy. They wanted to um, They wanted to keep tapping into that energy. They wanted your money. They wanted your success, your power, your, your energy. It was never about love, you know? So they're not crying because they love you. They're crying because they're, they're pissed that they're losing. They're pissed that they've lost. They've already lost, like, long ago. You know, they piss that, they're pissed that they lost this battle, they're pissed that you're um that you've taken your power back or your person's taken their power back. They're pissed that they don't have the energy source anymore. They don't have this person's money anymore. They they wanted to ruin this person's life is what I'm getting. Like they didn't even they wanted to stay in a relationship with someone just to drain them and gaslight them. They got a kick out of that. It's psychotic. It's like it's like the energy of like it's, it's just, it's scary energy. It's like a psychopath. You know what I mean? Like you see those psychopaths that like, like they just, they get off on that energy. Like they get off on pain. It's almost somebody that like watches videos of people being hurt and they like it. Like someone that like watches like snuff films and that kind of thing. Like they watch really dark shit on YouTube or like horror films. And it's not saying that horror movies are bad, but it's almost someone that like watches a horror movie and they don't get scared they feel like a kick out of it like they like seeing people suffer these karmics are as dark as it gets like you need to watch yourself because they're psychos but as far as like spiritually witchcraft like you guys are protected you're good um watch your back you know be be safe be logical be protected be mindful but um what i'm getting here is okay so so these karmics are they're losing the battle. They've lost the battle and they know it. And their karma is coming back on them tenfold. A lot of them had people helping them. Like some of them had covens. Some of them have like friends, family members, um, like this toxic BFF, whoever. It's coming back on them and whoever helps them tenfold too. Like the divine is not playing around anymore. So the update I have is that justice is being served. I want to say divine masculine and divine feminine, stay out of the crossfires. This is important. Please Heed this warning. Stay out of the crossfires because there's spirits coming up against the karmic that you don't want to fuck with. You don't want to try to tell these spirits, no, trust me, stay out of the crossfires. The karmic is getting what's coming to her. 
Um, and she's, it's, it's between her and these, these spirits now. You know what I mean? The divine masculine and feminine are already protected. They're already out of this energy. But if you try to like warn her or you try to like, I mean, I don't know why you would, but like, there's no protecting her from this. This is her own karma and she's doing it to herself. Um, and like I said, she's a psycho. She is a, these karmics are psychos. They are like, they are dark. They wanted to drain you forever. They wanted your energy. They wanted to suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? Like, don't feel bad for somebody like that. They're, they're crying because they can't ruin your life. Like, that's, like, who, who is that toxic? Can you imagine, like, divine feminines or masculines, like, can you guys really imagine, like, crying because you're not able to ruin somebody's life? Like, fake an entire relationship with them just so you can get their money, just so you can get, you know, the social recognition, just so you can get, you know, success, so you can, um, you know, have this, like, appearance of having a family and, you know, society, you know, like, they wanted, they wanted a good reputation, they wanted to hide behind this DM or DF, um, and they wanted revenge. They just wanted to destroy this person. They wanted to gaslight them and break them down a little bit more and more each day. They loved it. They're, this person is sick in the head. This person, this isn't like, this isn't like typical mental illness. This is like a straight psychopath. Like I'm not exaggerating when I say this person is probably a psychopath. Like this, I'm getting the energy of someone that actually gets off on seeing people hurt. Like they walk down the street and they see a homeless person asking for money and they laugh. They think it's funny. Inside, they laugh. They might not do it outside, but, like, they kind of giggle. Like, this is, like, someone that watches horror movies and just loves the blood and gore. Like, this is this is a sick person. This is somebody that's, like, like, they just, just, ew. Like, someone that sees other people suffering and they're, like, good. Like, I hope they suffer. People they don't even know. Strangers. They just, they love it. It's just, like, a demon. This could be a demon in a human body or a succubus in a human body. That's why I'm like, dude, if this person cries, like, you need to understand. Don't look at what's going on physically. Look at the soul. This is a demon in a human body or a succubus in a human body. Don't feel bad for them. Why would you feel bad for a demon? If a demon came to you and was crying, would you be like, oh, poor demon? No, you wouldn't. You'd be like, no, that's a fucking demon. Get away from me. You know, see that it's the same way with these karmics. Don't feel bad if they're crying. If they're crying, I can guarantee you it's because they're mad they're losing money, they're losing power, and they're not getting their way. It has nothing to do with love. They're not heartbroken at all. Don't think for a minute that they are. They are not. They don't give a shit about love. They are all about their status. This is a demon. This is growth. I think this is literally de demonic for some of you. I think this person, and not even just demonic attachments. I think some of these people, some of these karmics literally have demon souls. Or um, succubus souls. So stay the hell away from that. Trust me. Um, but what I wanted to say is... So sometimes when I channel it, just like there's so much information that comes through. I'm like, uh, 100 miles per minute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so what I was going to say is, okay, for some... And this kind of goes into that fake apology video that I did. For some, they're apologizing because they're starting to... The bad karma is beginning. So you guys remember like maybe like, I don't know, like a few weeks or so ago, I was seeing this karmic that was like in this room lighting this candle and she had all of these spirits around her. She had like a couple little, like little low vibrational imps, nothing serious, just a little couple little bratty imps helping her. But she had all these powerful gods and goddesses and angels and fae and dragon spirits and all these energies around her that were watching her. And kind of being like, bitch, do you really want to fuck around and find out? You sure you want to light that candle? And they were holding that energy to, to throw it back on her tenfold. She thought she was hexing the, the masculine or the feminine or both of them. Little did she know she was basically hexing herself. Because the divine at first, they were watching her. I kept getting that way. It was like a dark room where I just saw them watching her. They're like, okay, what is she going to do next? They've actually stepped in at this point. The divine has stepped in. These karmics have been stripped of their ability to hex. A lot of them have been stripped of their psychic powers, which is one reason why the karmics are losing their shit right now so much, because they can't pull cards and they can't look into what's going on. They have been cut off. They don't know what's going on anymore. Or like they know like little bits of it, but like they can't channel the way that they were before. Like they're being cut off. Source has cut them off. It's like, what is that saying? Like the, the definition of hell is the absence of God. Like they are, they are about to experience hell on earth. 
Um, they're, I'm, they're in the beginning phases of this, and it could get a lot worse for them depending on how far they want to take this. Um, but the divine has already intervened. They pissed off the wrong spirits. And what I'm getting here is that these spirits are pissed. These spirits are pissed. Like God, the angels, the gods and goddesses, the fae, the dragons. There's all there's all these different beings and these different spirits. They're all pissed. Like all of them. Even the love and light ones that would normally be like, oh, whatever, it's okay. They're they're gonna learn. Even even them, they're like, oh hell no, you did not. They have they have fucked with the wrong spirits. And these spirits are attacking them now. These spirits are coming for them. And I just want to say you have to stay out of the crossfires. Like, okay, for me personally, like I'm in this energy group with you guys. I don't even have to do reversing spells on this bitch. My my spirit guys are just taking care of it for me. They've just intervened. They're like Dude, like, if I did a reversing spell on her right now, she would probably end up in the hospital. You know? I don't even need to touch a reversing candle because they're just, they're here. They're like, no, we've got this. Like, they're taking care of it for me. You know? And you guys are, a lot of you are in the same energy group. Where it's like, if you feel drawn to do protection or uncrossing or whatever, like, you should totally do it. You know? Do what you feel intuitively drawn to. I'm just saying a lot of you are just protected. Like, where you just, you know, the divine has just intervened. I have never experienced or seen divine intervention like this. This is how much the universe despises these low vibrational demons and succubus karmics. Like they are despised by the higher beings. They are absolutely despised. They are they are the higher beings are sickened by these by these little low vibrational karmics. These karmics are dark. They are straight psychos. What I'm getting is that they pissed off the wrong spirit. So I, mean, I can't reiterate this enough. You have to stay out of the crossfires. Because, like, okay, so the karmics are thinking about apologizing to you or your person because part of the reason, other than gaslighting you and wanting power, the other part of the reason they want to apologize is because they think that they think that you're doing this. They think this is all just you. And, I mean, partly it is, you know what I mean? Like, it is your own power and energy. Like, yeah, take credit for it. But a lot of it is just your spirit guides. Like I said, like, I'm not even doing any reversing spells. I'm just chilling. I'm just, I'm just over here watching Netflix, eating my food, like, doing my art projects, like... I don't even have to do any spell work and the divine is just taking care of it for me. Like no matter how many hexes she throws at me, I'm happy she's hexing me actually because they're transmuting that into blessings for me and they're going to make her watch me receive those blessings. And they're putting that, that dark energy back on her tenfold. They're going to, everything she tries to take from me is going to be taken from her tenfold and I'm going to receive blessings in return. Like my spirit guides are actually trolling her to the point where they're going to make her watch me be abundant and successful. You know, if she wants to, she's going to have to watch, she's going to have to watch, you know, the DM and DF live their best lives together. Like she's going to, you know what I mean? If she wants to stick around for that, like it's, they're, they're the, the, these spirit guides are so pissed that they're actually trolling the karmics. Like they're actually like, I don't know if you guys have noticed that, like the synchronicities where they're, it's like they hex you and you receive a blessing and the karmic has to see the blessing. It's that kind of energy. It's just beautiful. And it's all coming back on the karmic and anyone that helps her actually too, tenfold. So, and this, this goes, there's no sneaking around this. It's like, it's not like, oh, if you don't do witchcraft, like maybe you can, you can do something physical. You can do something illegal. No, spirit watches you. Spirit is inside the karmic's head. They know what she's thinking, what she's feeling. They are there with her. Like, they know her dreams. They know everything. She can't escape them. Any thoughts she has, they're going to know the energy, whether it's good or bad intentioned. Like, there's there's no there's no escaping the spirits. You know what I mean? Like, there's just no escaping the spirits. But, um, but what I wanted to say is Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines, you have to stay out of the crossfires because, like I was saying... Even if this isn't just about the divine masculine and the divine feminine, this is about everybody that these karmic psychopaths have betrayed and fucked over because they were doing this long before the divine masculine relationship that they had or divine feminine relationship with the divine feminine that they had, whatever. They were doing this to people before. This, this person has a history of illegal shit, stealing, bank robbery I'm getting for somebody, whoever that's for. Um, theft being, being a seductress, um, using people 
like this is like laugh at the homeless kind of energy it's like ew it's just gross energy like like hurting people um hitting people some of these people are physically abusive like they actually hit people some of them it's like they they have a long history of gaslighting people of using them of um betraying people like like stealing their best friend's boyfriend kind of energy you know when just this like that kind of energy like like just just nasty energy just like they don't give a shit about anyone but themselves okay don't feel bad for them please because this is literally a demon demons want you to feel bad for them so they can drain you don't feel bad for this demon please be smart okay um because some of you are like some of you are so empathic that you're going to be like oh like they've been through so much that's why they're like that no this is a demon this was this was someone that was evil from birth like these are these karmics, a lot of them, most of them were evil from birth. Like they were just dark children too. You know, there are evil children out there. There are evil children out there, you know, be mindful. I hate to say that, but I mean there there are demons here on earth with us. And some of them, like, what do you you know, some of them are, are demons from birth. Like, I hate to say it. I know it sounds it sounds sad saying about a, about a child, but it's honestly true. Like some of them Some of them have kids that are demonic too. Honestly, ew. That's that's a I don't even know if I want to tap into that energy. That's a gross energy. But um, but anyway, what I was gonna say is please, divine masculines and feminines, please stay out of the crossfires. Because, like, okay, for I'm gonna use my my story as an example. So, like I said, I'm not even having to do reversing spells anymore. Like, I don't have to do shit. I'm just chilling over here. I'm good. Like, my spirit guides are protecting me. They're and they're protecting my true love as well. You know, anytime. You know, anytime she tries to reach out to him or to to me or to whoever, like they see it, the spirits see it, and they're gonna they're gonna fuck with her back for doing that. You know what I mean? Like they're gonna keep fucking with her. Um, the more she holds on to this, and she gets to decide how bad this gets. Like she could lose everything. She could lose her home, her friends, her family, her her entire everything. She could be that homeless person that she likes to laugh at when she walks by on the side of the street. Um. You know, it's, it's up to her. It depends on how far she takes this. If she moves on, she might have a chance to, like, restore her, her karma. Um, but, I mean, she'd really have to move on. But some of them are, like, demons. So it's, like, demons Demons are going to keep using people. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to keep trying to use people. They're... I mean, some of them are succubuses, though. So it's, like, I don't know. Could a succubus have good karma? I'm not sure. I haven't looked into that before. <laughs> I don't know, but I did, I could, okay, so, like, this is, this is gonna sound weird, but, like, even demons have soulmates, even demons have their little other demonic, you know, person, you know, or, or, like, their succubus, like, a succubus spirit is, they're still gonna have, like, their incubus spirit that's, like, their match, you know what I mean, so I'm getting that, like, this person does have a true love, even if they're a demon soul, they have another demon that's their true love, so I guess, in the sense, like, they could be with that other demon and be happy the rest of their lives, but some of them are actually going to lose this other demon and be completely alone, you know? So it's like, I guess, I guess it's, I don't know if you'd call it good karma for a demon to be able to find another demon to team up with, but um, it's that kind of energy. It's just like, some of them have a, de a demon soulmate or a demon twin flame that they're about to lose if they keep holding on to this divine masculine that's not for them. Or this divine feminine, take it as it resonates. But um, I'd say for most of you, it's divine masculine. But what I wanted to say is stay out of the crossfires. I cannot reiterate this enough. I cannot reiterate this enough. Stay out of the crossfires because there are some very angry spirits that are involved in this and they are going to screw the karmic's life up and she's going to keep doing it to herself. She's in this eight of swords energy where she's on a downward spiral and it's going to get darker for her. It's going to get a lot worse for her. This is just the beginning of her torment. You know, and again, she's doing it to herself. Like, she doesn't have to, but she's, if she's insisting on holding on to the, the DM, then, yeah, she's going down. You know, her spirit, like, our, like the DM and DF spirit guides are going to keep throwing all her toxic energy back on her tenfold. So some of these karmics are going to destroy themselves with their need for revenge and bitterness and anger and hatred. Their own dark energy is going to be used against them to destroy them. Okay, 
but you have to understand DMs and DFs. This isn't just about you and your connection. These karmics have actually screwed a lot of people over before they even met you or before they even met your person. Like they have a demonic history or a succubus history of seducing people, of using people, of draining people, gaslighting people, just general psychopath stuff. Like being like, like stealing their best friend's boyfriend or girlfriend, um, betraying the people that love them, using people for their own benefit, manipulating people, breaking people down, um, physically abusing, like hitting people, beating people up. Like I'm getting that, that strongly too. Um, just there's a, there's a, there's a history of seduction and manipulation and darkness and evil with this karmic, with these karmics, like psychopath energy. Like I said, I'm not even playing like they'll straight up, like, like they go online and try to look for snuff films of people being tortured because they love washing it. Some of these acts, some of these karmics actually like to watch that shit behind closed doors. They get off on it. They like to go on the black web and maybe I'll do another video on that sometime. They like to go on the black web and actually watch videos of people being tortured because they love that energy. They are demons. You know what I mean? This isn't somebody that was like, oh, kind of lost or has some mental illness. No, this is like a straight demon. This is like someone that gets off on seeing people suffering and seeing people in pain. Um, and I'm getting it's, it's, it's karmic feminines for most of you. But I just want to say, please stay out of the crossfires because like I said, these spirits are pissed off. Um, because of it's, it's justice for everything the karmic's done. It's not just about the DM and DF. It's other people the karmic screwed over, friends and family from the past that she screwed over. Like I said, the divine masculine and feminine is also leading people spiritually away from the karmic. So these people want justice too. It's like, it's like a whole community that wants justice here. Whether this is like spiritually, like people on the other side or people here, you know, there's like, there's a lot of people that want justice. There's a lot of people that want justice. Um, even if it's not fully conscious. So please stay out of the crossfires because you do not want to get caught in the crossfires. It's like these very powerful spirits that you do not want to mess with. You don't want to, you just don't want to touch these spirits. These spirits are, are attacking the karmic now and they're going to keep attacking the karmic. They're going to keep coming at her and she's doing it to herself. It's like she keeps trying to find loopholes and the more she does that, the more she's going to piss off these spirits. They're going to keep attacking her for a while, you know, until she's like 100% moved on and not screwing people over anymore. She's going to keep getting attacked like this is justice and it's up to the spirits how long they want to do it for. There's no reasoning with them. You know what I mean? There's just not like if I wanted, like, let's say, okay, let's say, for example, that I didn't want them to attack her anymore, which I do want them to attack her. I totally do. Like, I think she deserves it. She's a fucking psycho. But like for my situation, if I ask them not to do this, if I try to negotiate with them, be like, okay, just leave her alone now. They wouldn't listen to me. I would just be getting myself caught in the crossfires. Like there's some stuff going on spiritually that you don't want to get involved with. You don't want to mess with it. Um... Like, I wouldn't even be able to to pull them back from her at this point. Like, I would not, because they're, they're watching her. They're seeing what she's doing, and this is justice. This is justice for everyone that she's wronged, and she's making her bad karma worse. She's in this downward spiral because she keeps trying to fight it. She keeps trying to find loopholes, and that's pissing these spirits off even more, and they're going to come at her even harder. So just know that it, it is between the karmic and the spirits at this point. It is no longer the DM and DF and the karmic. It is... The DM and DF are over here. They're safe. They're good. It is just between the karmic and the spirits at this point. Okay? Do not get involved. If you, for those of you that feel bad for this person, honestly, I'm getting a sense here that like if you try to warn her or try to warn him, you're going to piss these spirits off and they're actually going to attack you too. Like they are in some of these spirits. Okay, like there's lighter spirits, like there's angels, but there's also like darker spirits that she tried to mess with that are like, oh, hell no, you mess with the wrong spirit here. And if you try to get involved, the spirit is probably going to like kind of, it's like a fist fight. Like imagine two people fist fighting and you're over here and you're trying to break them up and they're just, one of these people is going to punch you in the face. You know what I mean? It's like DM and DF, just stay out of it. Just stay out of it. The, the spirits are handling it. Okay. Um, cause there's darker spirits that don't give a shit. They're like, they just want this person to suffer for like even personal reasons for some of them. And if you try to warn this person, this, this karmic, if you try to warn the karmic, the, the, these spirits are going to come after you. They're going to be like, no, stay out of this. Like, they're going to push you away. They're going to push you out of the situation. 
Um, so you don't want to get involved in that. This is between the karmic and the spirits at this point. I cannot stress this enough. Just stay out of the crossfires, you know, and also like the karmic's life is about to get really messy and dark. So protect yourself and just stay out of that. Just stay out of the crossfires. Do not get dragged into that drama, the chaos. This is between the karmic and the spirits at this point. The spirits are going to have justice served and the spirits are going to decide when enough is enough. I cannot decide it. My person cannot decide it. You know, you, you cannot decide it. Your person can't decide it. It's not up to us anymore. It's up to the spirits when this person has had enough, when this person has learned their lesson, when this person has fully moved on. It is up to the spirits. It's between them and the karmic. And she can't fix, She can't fool spirits. If she tries, her life is going to be hell if she even tries to fool these spirits again. I'm getting for some, they actually, so these spirits are pissed. I'm getting for some, they try to trap a certain spirit. Like they try to, they did like, um, I see like a blood ritual where they did like a ritual. I might get in, into this more later. Actually, I think I'm going to do, um, God, maybe I'll do a fifth video. Should I do a fifth video? Yeah, I'm going to do a fifth video. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I'm doing so many videos today, but, um, no, there is something I want to look into actually regarding these spirits, so yeah, check back for that video, I'm sorry guys, I know it's just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out my phone eventually, if any of you know how the hell to like make a, a um, god, what kind of phone did I just buy, I don't even freaking know, Do you, like, I don't, I don't know how to fix this phone, but I'm gonna figure it out, I'm gonna try to figure it out how to, it always cuts the videos off around 30 minutes. So anyway, I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to do a fifth video on the blood ritual that this karmic did and part of her, part of her bad karma. And like I said, there's no loopholes. They, these spirits are so on her right now that they can pretty much almost hear her thoughts. Like they can, they're watching her. She feels them watching her too. And again, this karmic is a demon or a succubus. So don't feel bad for them. Okay. Just protect yourself. Stay out of the crossfire. There's, this is between her and the spirits at this point. I'm going to reiterate that just because I want you guys to get it through your head because some of you are empaths and you're going to start thinking, oh no, I don't want that to happen to her. Like, I don't want I don't want to see that happen to somebody. It's, it's a demon who gives a shit what happens to it. Okay. <laughs> you know, there's, there's no, there's no getting in the way. If you get in the way, you're going to get punched in the face. They're going at it. You don't just, just, just stay over here in your lane. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to do a fifth video. All right. Cause I want to get more into that energy. So thank you guys for watching. I think, um, I think I'm going to post that fifth video tomorrow, actually, just because there's already four videos up and there's already a lot of information. So I think I'll post the fifth one tomorrow.